everyone and thanks for watching edupedia world videos this is the final video in the topic geometrical optics and here we'll be studying various defects of vision and how they can be corrected using particular lenses so generally the eye has two points which are characteristics of the strength of the eye or the healthiness of the eye they are the near point and the far point Far point is the farthest point the eye can see clearly. Near point is the nearest point the eye can see clearly. For a healthy eye, the near point is around 25 centimeters. For an adult, it's less than that for a child. And the far point is infinity. Right. Now, there are two main defects of vision which we'll see. One is called myopia. And the other is called hypermetropia. Right. Now, myopia is also called nearsightedness and hypermetropia is called farsightedness. Nearsightedness obviously means you can see the near points clearly, you can't see the farther points clearly. So what that means is that the near vision is fine, near point is 25 centimeters, but the far point is less than infinity. You can't see far objects clearly. Hypermetropia is farsightedness where you can see the far objects clearly, the far point is at infinity, but the near point is greater than 25 centimeters. Right? So let's look at these two in detail. Let's look at myopia first. Myopia means near point is 25 centimeters, far point is less than infinity. Right? So what does that mean? If this is our eye lens and this is our retina, then the images which will be coming from infinity will meet at the focus, right? And if the focal length of the lens is equal to, let's, I want to use a new variable. Let's use just small d. Small d is the distance between eye lens and retina, right? This distance. This would be the image distance if the image is formed at the retina, which would be true for any healthy eye. So, if the focal length is equal to this, or rather f max, right, the eye can have focal length between a minimum and a maximum value. The smaller the focal length, the nearer the object, the farther the object, the greater the focal length. If the maximum focal length is equal to d, then the furthest objects will arrive at the retina, the furthest rays will arrive at the retina, and we'll be able to see the object clearly. This is a healthy eye. For a myopic eye, what happens is these parallel rays, generally the f max is less than v and they, let's say this would be the maximum value of the focal length. The focal length can be anything between, let's say this point and this point. This is the maximum value of the focal length. Then the parallel rays would meet at this point. They would meet like this. Another parallel ray would meet like this. Right. They would meet at the focus as opposed to at the retina and we would see a blurry image at the retina as opposed to a point object. Right. So in that case, f max is less than d for a myopic eye. And what we can do in that case is we can put a diverging lens here. What a diverging lens just does is these rays, it will make these rays instead of coming parallel diverge a little bit. And we can just see from intuition, if instead of parallel, the rays are diverging a little bit, then they will maybe converge a little bit less and it's possible to increase the distance of the image such that they are formed at the retina. Right. So that's what we need to do for myopia. I'll just draw this figure again because it's getting a little bit too dirty. Yeah, so this is the lens. This is the retina. Parallel rays if they were coming, would have focused at a point other than the retina. They would have focused here if this was the f max. If f max could increase beyond this point and be equal to this, then it would in the cases of objects at a very large distance. But in this case, there's a blurry image formed. So all you need to do in this case is attach a diverging lens of particular wavelength such that rays coming here diverge a little bit before going and because they are diverging a little bit instead of meeting here they'll meet a little bit further and we can arrange the focal length of the diverging lens such that they meet here at the focus 
right so in that case we need a diverging lens and what should the focus of the diverging lens be let's say the parallel rays coming appear to diverge from this point right that means if there was no lens then this point would be the point from which rays coming would meet at the retina rays coming beyond any point after this coming here let's say would focus before the retina right so if we can make parallel rays look as though they are coming from this point a point from where rays could reach the retina then we are fine so what we need to do in the case of myopia is have a diverging lens which has a power which is equal to 1 by f equal to 1 by minus x where x is the far point far point should be at infinity if it's at infinity power would be zero we wouldn't need a lens but instead of infinity say the far point is at 200 meters that means you can't see images beyond 200 meters clearly that means the image coming from 200 meters will clearly focus on the retina images coming from beyond that will not focus on the retina so for images coming beyond that if you could make it a diverging lens in such a way that they appear to come from this point in fact the parallel rays coming from infinity will appear to come from this point a ray coming from here beyond this point would appear somewhere here so you could also see that because it's before the far point so what we want is the image objects at infinity should have an image created at the point for which we can see the object clearly which is the far point so the far point if it's not infinity then whatever the far point is you just make sure that objects coming from infinity look as though they're coming from that point and for that we need a diverging lens and p is equal to minus 1 by x is the power required now let's look at the other one the other one is hypermetropia in that case the new point is greater than 25 cm and the far point is the usual value infinity in that case what happens is the rays coming from infinity will reach the focus right so f max is fine but f minimum the minimum value of the focal length would be such for the least distance of distinct vision let's say this is the least distance of distinct vision or 25 cm right now uh, have an object rays going from here we need the image to be formed here the image will always be formed at the retina otherwise we won't be able to see clearly right if we bring an object closer then for that to have rays to reach here we would need an even smaller focal length but there's a minimum focal length beyond which we can't go usually the minimum focal length of the lens is such that you can see objects at 25 cm very clearly sometimes however the minimum focal length is smaller than that in that case d becomes greater than 25 cm and what we need to do is we need to make an object nearer to this look as though it is coming from here so we put another converging lens and this object is between the focus and the pole of this lens so it will create a virtual and erect image which will be here and any object here we will be able to see clearly if this is d dash right a new far point so what we need to do in this case is have a focal length such that 1 by v that is 1 by 25 minus 1 by u right which we'll just say 1 by x which is the near point is equal to 1 by f right if this is the case then the object at x will look as though the image is formed at the near point right so this is the power needed of a converging lens in the case of a hypermetropic eye right you cannot see objects let's say now this is 50 cm so the near point of the hypermetropic eye is 15 cm but you want it to be able to see objects at 25 cm so all we need to do is make sure an object at 25 cm has its image formed at 50 cm and you can use that using a converging lens right now there are some other defects of vision uh, there is color blindness which is not that important for your case it is when you cannot distinguish between colors properly there is also astigmatism in which you are not able to properly see in vertical and horizontal directions equally one direction is stronger than the other and they can be used corrected using cylindrical lenses some eyes might be hypermetropic as well as myopic in which you use what are called bifocal lenses in which the lower part of the lens is uh, for the near point because when you're reading something you look at the lower part of the lens in the eye and the upper part of the lens is for the far point right this completes our study of uh, geometrical optics thank you